day. Whether you call them crawfish, crayfish, or crawdads, this freshwater crustacean is a prized menu item in the southeastern United States. But extreme weather in Texas has made this big part of Cajun cuisine smaller in size. The colder weather does affect the catch, yes sir. They're not as active and they're not as hungry. They, they, they go into a uh, dormant kind of a phase. John Reyes, a crawfish farmer in Winnie, Texas, says a rare Arctic cold front that swept through the state last year is impacting his harvest. Well, at this field right here is 100 acres, and I've got about 775 traps in it. And uh, three weeks ago, I was catching two sacks out of it. A week ago, I was catching four sacks out of it. And then today, since it's right after that freeze, I don't expect to catch any more than three or four sacks. In December, temperatures in Winnie dropped to below freezing, which can make crawfish lethargic, meaning they don't eat and don't grow. What normally doesn't freeze is the coast. Todd Sink is an aquaculture specialist at Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. Usually, if you look back at climate records, about every 10 to 12 years, we'll get a freeze at the coast. We've had two major freezes that have been prolonged for days in two years apart. And that is completely unusual. So it's not just disrupting crawfish, it's disrupting the red drum production, hybrid striped bass production, all these aquaculture species that are growing down there. Farmers like Reyes get an early start each year due to high demand as events like the Super Bowl and Mardi Gras kick off the crawfish season. At the Crawfish Cafe in Houston, customer Shanisha Brooks detected the disparity. The only difference I would say is like the size. So like right now they're pretty small, but like in the later part of the season, they're going to be really big. Fishermen are also hoping for a change because smaller crawfish means working harder for less. Did that freeze come through?